So here's the thing. I get it. Of course. In Gota, we trust. We have faith in Gota. There's a reason why there's a G before the O. The man is up there with the angels. Of course. I love One Piece. And as a One Piece fan, Gota's word is unfallible. Gota is perfect. He is a holy being. He has divinity coursing through his bones, through his muscles, into his mind. I get it. But sometimes, sometimes... Your faith in Gota has to just Ota. Ota. buckle, just Ota. buckle a bit. And the problem is that it comes in a very cutesy little package. Like, oh my God, this is harmless. I'm Otama. No, I think Otama's deadly. What? I think Otama is extra deadly. Otama right now it's quote unquote harmless right now but her potential is astronomical not just for wano kuni but for the overall story of one piece and honestly i'm afraid <laughs> otama scares me because of the things that she could potentially do now of course i'm talking about the latest chapter of one piece chapter 952 so spoilers ahead, of course. In this chapter, Babanuki, old maid, after being cured of his plague by Chopper, well, it looks like Tama has tamed Babanuki. And the problem I have with this is, well, he she tamed Babanuki, just how she tamed Speed before. Babanuki is now completely subservient to his new master. He relayed false information to Queen. Here is the main issue with Otama. Otama to me is kind of like an Aluka or kind of like an Eri, where it's like, mm, this character, because of this character's innate abilities, and there is a purity to it because the, it's a child. There's innocence there. And it's kind of misleading in that sense. But these characters are phenomenally dangerous and or extraordinarily convenient to the point where whether it's Hunter Hunter or whether it's my hero or even One Piece. And I'm not saying that Otama is exactly there yet, but the stories are better off without these characters ever existing in the first place. In Wano Kuni, let, let's do the worst case scenario in Wano Kuni. What is the worst case scenario in Wano Kuni? Mm -hmm. Kibidango, mm -hmm. Kaido. It's like, oh no, that, oh, 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 oh. that is Death Con 1 or 5. Whichever one's like the highest one. Your pants, whatever color they are, they're, they turn brown immediately. And if they're already brown, then they're even a darker brown. Because Otama, Kibidango, Kaido's mouth, that's that's a problem. Now that's, of course, worst case scenario. Pretty bad cases would be King, Queen, or Jazz succumbing to the Kibidango and these powerful henchmen of Kaido betray Kaido because they have a new master and they bend the knee to their new overlord, Otama. Yeah. Even then, you have the members of the Flying Six. So far, Page One and Drake. That's pretty bad too. Members like, could you imagine? Could you imagine Drake? Oh no. Diaz Drake, ex Drake, serving Otana. That, <laughs> oh, like it, it actually just sends it sends chills down the. Like, again, it's terrifying. But right now, I'm going to hope that no Zoan Devil Fruit, no genuine Zoan Devil Fruit user can succumb to the effects of the Kiwi Dango. That is my hope, that is my prayer. I hope that if someone is a genuine Zoan Devil Fruit user, they will not fall under this quote unquote spell of Otama's Kiwi Dango. However, Okiku in the chapter 952, she did state, and I quote, Apparently, it works on animals and anyone with animal-type magic powers. Of course, in Wano Kuni, is slang for devil fruits. It doesn't specify smile devil fruit or not, it just says devil fruit. Again, you would hope that it only applies to the smiles and just general animals. So headliners like Speed, Babanuki, 
Hold'em, whomever, Batman, Gazelle Man, and so on. These headliners could easily serve Otama. Like, there could be an actual headliner army on the part of the Straw Hats because Otama, Kibi Dango, boom. And there were a bunch of headliners that are in the prison right now. Potentially. We haven't seen it, of course. But it could be the case where these headliners are going to potentially serve Otama. The Spider Monkey Girl, the Spider Guy, the list goes on and on. Hippo Man, Alpaca Man, Medillo Man. These people could all potentially serve Tama if the Kibudango's effects are permanent or they last for a long period of time. I'm going to safely assume that when it comes to the smell of different users, they are not permanent. That's my hope. Again, that's my hope. Because if it is permanent, or it lasts for a long period of time, like a week or two weeks, whatever the case may be. They are going to be forces against Kaido. Baba Nuke, Speed, again, potentially, Medillo Man, Alpaca Man, and of course, these things don't necessarily matter, but force in numbers, force in numbers. So in of itself, that force could be deadly. So let's say later on in the arc, we have these clashes of the allied headliners that are on the Straw Hat Company side, and then you have Kaido's headliners and gifters. Or let's say Big Mom's pirate crew, she hops in there, and then it's, let's say, let, like, let's say that Big Mom and Kaido team up, and then, that'd be kind of wild, but let's say, you know, for this example, you have, you know, Kaido's henchmen and the gifters, and then you have Big Mom's crew and the lesser opponents, like people that are weaker than, let's say, Daifuku and Pero Sparrow and so on. And they're all fighting against the headliners that are on the good guy side. It's no slack off of the Strat side because it's just Kaido's henchmen fighting among themselves and potentially Big Mom's henchmen as well. So they save resources and they save valuable men by manipulating the men of Kaido. Then you have the potential of other animals that are in the area. Kibidango for those giant croco sharks. For all those creatures in the wasteland area, the mutated creatures, those things could potentially serve Tama as well. Like a weird mutated version of the Lion King. That's, that's, hor again, it's horrifying. Not even the case of Kaido or of the commanders or even of the Flying Six. But it could be just headliners, gifters, other creatures could serve Otama as this giant Danimal Kingdom mutated army. If you consider the potential outside of this arc, everyone knows that there's going to be some crazy final war. And it's probably going to encompass maybe not the entire planet, but probably a lot of the planet. I doubt it'd be like one particular battlefield. And Oda is looking forward to this arc tremendously. Now we know that there are these creatures, animals, that roam across the world of One Piece, and they're called Sea Kings. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute! You see, Shirohoshi can talk to the Sea Kings, of course. And maybe not like those gargantuan Sea Kings that we see around Fishman Island. Maybe not those guys, because they're just so large. So maybe the Kibidango is not going to be effective enough. But let's say the smaller Sea Kings, or Sea Kings that are, you know, like Lord of the Coast Sea Kings. Could you imagine a whore of these Sea Kings serving Otama? I mean, dude, again, I have to hope. We have to hope that she can't manipulate the actual big Sea Kings. Because she's been taming everything so far. And as far as you know, there's no time limit for this. But we haven't seen Speed since. Does she still serve Tama? Is she still loyal to Tama? We have no idea. But Sea Kings, Sea Kings, Tama on one side, Shirohoshi on another side. That's terrifying. According to one of the books, I believe it was called Enter the New World, something of that sort. I mean, the book is pretty much like defunct now because Oda has changed a few things from that book. But in that book, Oda states that the Sea Kings are like 5K minimum. It's kind of weird, honestly, considering Fisherman Island. But the Sea Kings are large enough to where it took a few of them, only a few of them, to pull the entire Noah Ark. And that thing is half the size of an entire island. Like, it's, it's gargantuan. So, I mean, what if there's, like, even crazier creatures? Like, Zunisha. I mean, Zunisha being under control 
of Otama is kind of ridiculous, right? Like, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, of course. But, again, this is the potential of the character. Obviously, it's ridiculous in your mind because, well, it's supposed to be only Momonosuke and the Kozuki family. They're the only ones that can actually control Zunisha and so on. All right, fine. But the scope of her powers, not just for people that are Zoans or pseudo Zoans, I should say, because right now we haven't seen actual Zoan under control, but for animals at large, it's pretty scary what she could potentially do. So yes, the likelihood of her actually controlling something like Zunisha with Akibi Dango is is pretty insane. Like it's it's very, 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 very low. Like 0.00009% chance it's actually gonna happen. But other creatures, like let's say, like prophet creatures too. Like let's say, I don't know how it happened, but let's say the Lord of the Sky back in Sky Pia, that giant snake. I mean, could, she controls something like that. And that thing gave Wiper, Luffy, Zoro a pretty hard time. I mean, listen, again, there are very profitable creatures that exist across the world of One Piece. Probably giant creatures that we haven't seen yet. And it's possible that all of them could be manipulated by Otama. And if there's a giant war that's going to span across the planet, and there are forces needed to defeat the Marines and the world government, while well, Otama can literally make an army of animals, powerful animals, if she wanted to, if they actually had the capability of having Tama travel across to different islands, or just stockpile a bunch of Kibi Dango on a ship or something, and then use that as a means of manipulating the said creatures, because maybe it could be the case where you don't actually need Tama to be there. Maybe just having them eat the Kibi Dango alone is enough to tame them. There are possibilities there that only get scarier and scarier. It's crazy. It's out there. And it's highly unlikely. Yes, of course. Highly unlikely. Kaido? <clears throat> Be controlled? What? Highly unlikely. King? Queen? Jack? <clears throat> highly. Highly unlikely. Like, come on now. Drake? Page 1 or Oath Flying 6? Highly unlikely. but possible. 0.00000009% chance it can happen. But it's not fully zero. At least until Oda actually tells us that it's, yeah, Zoans, genuine Zoans cannot be manipulated by Tama's Kibidanga. But until then, until Oda actually tells us, there is that slight chance. And that's why cattle's like these are pretty dangerous and also on the flip side pretty damn convenient otama to me is a pretty frightening character i know there's going to be several plot device moments for her character like i know it's going to happen clearly otama at least in the sense of wano kuni can lead a massive rebellion betrayal of headliners against kaido's forces and if it goes to the point where she can actually control genuine zoans then I'm really sh my pants. So I'll, I'll have faith in Gota. I'll do my daily prayers to Gota. But can you blame me for my faith wavering just a bit? Just a smidge? Huh? Can you blame me? Otama. Do not underestimate Otama.